Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. The legacy automakers are collapsing in real time in front of our eyes. And because Volkswagen didn't listen to Herbert Dees, but fired him for telling the truth, they are faced with the consequences that Herbert warned them about. As Volkswagen is discussing the reduction of 20,000 employees, the old guys and the mainstream media want to paint a different picture, but there is no hiding it anymore. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. The Volkswagen Supervisory Board will meet next Friday and will discuss the reduction of 20,000 employees, according to sources from the Hamburg Reduction Contour. Naturally, the trade union, worker concern, and politicians will be against it, but the cost pressure at Volkswagen is increasing due to the company's lack of competitiveness. Unfortunately, the CEO and managers are not currently making the urgently needed decisions for the future, but cancel and delays them. So Alex here predicts that 20,000 employees gone are just the beginning of a painful many years long downsizing process. And I completely agree. And I think Herbert Dees does as well, as this is exactly what Herbert tried to warn Volkswagen about. But they wouldn't listen. As we can see in this article from October 2021, Volkswagen chief executive Herbert Dees has warned that the German car manufacturer could lose up to 30,000 jobs if its transition to electric vehicles is too slow. Dees told the supervisory board meeting in September that competition from new entrants in the German market such as Tesla means the company needs to speed up its transition to electric vehicles. He noted that Tesla's plans to produce 500,000 cars annually in the Berlin factory with 12,000 employees, while Volkswagen's Wolfburg plant built 700,000 vehicles annually but with 25,000 employees. So only 40% more cars, but need more than twice the amount of employees to do so. And remember, Herbert was also the one saying that Volkswagen took 30 hours to build the ID3, whereas Tesla could build the Model 3 in only 10 hours. And he held two meetings with many Volkswagen managers to talk about how they could catch up to Tesla. But a spokesperson for Volkswagen's worker council wouldn't comment on these comments, but said that a reduction of 30,000 jobs is absurd and baseless. Well, I guess not so baseless anymore, as 20,000 jobs are hanging in the line as of now. And there are more to come, because as D said, they could lose up to 30,000 jobs if they slowed down the transition to EVs. And that is exactly what has happened. They fired Herbert Dees for being so pro EVs and Tesla and saying things like firing 30,000 employees. You don't say stuff like that. And now the new CEO of Volkswagen has delayed everything. The EV targets, the EV plant, the Trinity platform, the battery factories in Europe. So everything about the transition to EVs has been delayed. And guess what? They now have to fire probably about 20,000 employees. Oh boy, if they had just listened to Herbert. So now all focus has gone from making better and more desirable EVs and production speed to all focus is now on cutting cost. Because Volkswagen is in desperate need of making more money or cutting cost. Even though we always hear that the old guys have so much money. But that is actually not the case. They also have a lot of debt, especially Volkswagen. And with their high interest rate, the amount of money Volkswagen have to pay in interest on their $200 billion in debt is just insane. Why do you think Volkswagen Group IPO'd the Porsche brand? Because they thought it was fun? 
No, they needed the money they could get out of it. And as a Volkswagen speaker said at the recent meeting, the Volkswagen brand has launched an ambition performance program in the development of which the employee representative are involved. The aim is to increase the operation profit margins to 6.5% by 2026. So Volkswagen want to get up to 6.5% operating margins. Just remember how people were screaming about the bad quarter for Tesla in Q3 with only 7.6% in operating margins. And Volkswagen just trying to get to 6.5% in operating margins. But anyway, the planned sustainable increase in performance of 10 billion euros by 2026 is to be achieved with reduced fixed and production cost, cross-divisional performance improvements, and optimized product and material cost. So what they're basically saying here is we will cut back on everything because we want to show short-term profits, but Tesla can just take more and more market share. But last, the mainstream media is saying Tesla is losing market share. Well, that is BEV market share. And in the US, as Tesla pretty much has 90 or 100% market share at some point over there. So of course they will go down. And that will continue, probably all the way down to 20 or 25%. So that will just continue. But in the overall car market, Tesla is still growing in market share and that is what matters and here in Europe where Tesla did not start with 90% BEV market share Tesla is actually growing in BEV market share even with all this competition that is out there remember we have over 400 different EV models to choose from here in Europe but last year Tesla ended up the year with 14.8% BEV market share and year to date Tesla sits on 17.1% market share. So the impact of the Berlin factory is exactly as devastating for the German automakers as Herbert Dies predicted. Tesla is growing faster than the rest of the industry in Europe. Now that is saying something. And today Volkswagen is only thinking about short-term profits here and have delayed all their many plans for 2026 to the end of this decade. But Tesla is not slowing down and neither are the Chinese. This is a huge mistake in my opinion and will be devastating for the company. Trying to cut costs when they need to invest heavily in the future so they can make their nice balance sheet look good for another couple of years but lose the future car market. The spokesperson also stated, as proven during the transformation, the company will continue to utilize the potential of personnel development along the demographic curve. There is no blank target for reducing the number of employees at Volkswagen. Furthermore, as several Volkswagen executives told the Handelskontor, Volkswagen has at least one vehicle plan too many on their bottom line after a relentlessly honest analysis. However, the group's CEO, Bloomer, does not want to be the CEO who implements such a dramatic and unpopular measure that makes the fundamental problem Volkswagen has public. No, Bloomer do not want to be that guy. Only want to be the guy that ran the company into the ground. Many observers at Volkswagen's management are therefore wondering how else the main brand intend to save 10 billion euros in the long term. Oh, not that long term, we are talking 2026. It won't work just through price increases and savings in purchases, said one Volkswagen expert. There is hardly any room for maneuver anyway, especially when their EVs are inferior in every way to a Tesla, but they have a higher sticker price. Because Tesla does have room to maneuver. Like I just showed with the Model 3 refreshed against the ID3 Pro S. The ID3 Pro S is more expensive than the standard range Model 3 that beats it on all counts. So no, they can't do price increases because Tesla is out there with a much better product with a much better price. They have to cut prices to be competitive. And this will also hurt their ice sales as the price for the Model 3 in Europe is just so compelling. And remember, within two years, they will probably have the next gen vehicle from Tesla coming out of the Berlin factory. So let's say sometime during 2026, but Volkswagen will have nothing compelling and competitive to fight against it. 
and that compact affordable EV from Tesla will be a direct and devastating blow for Volkswagen. They are already hurting now, as we can see with firing 20,000 people, but that is nothing compared to what is to come in only a couple of years. And as Volkswagen is slowing everything down, they will not be ready for this. And a conversationalist of the editorial team with well-founded insights into Volkswagen's calculations said if even just under a third of the savings are to be realized through cuts in personnel cost, the figure of 20,000 employees, which as far as he knows has been banded about in secret meetings, is still far too low, just as Herbert said. The insider's reasoning, the expert at the stock exchange can also do the math. If the group comes out with a lower figure in the near future, the share price, which is already not particularly attractive, is likely to fall even further. The truth is that Volkswagen can't survive or even invest in the transformation with the narrow profit per vehicle of 800 to 1200 euros in profits per vehicle sold in the volume segment and this profit continues to decrease. And that is their ice business they're talking about here. Be prepared for Volkswagen to do their best to avoid shockwaves at the markets when they announce a headcount reduction and make it look like it's just people retiring early or deciding to take a value package to leave early, as Alex wrote. Some of you remember the loud outcry when former CEO Herbert Dees asked for an analysis with the result that if the MEB platform doesn't work as planned, which it didn't, the company will need to let 30,000 employees go. It turned out he was right. Yes, what we have been talking about for years and Herbert tried to tell the Volkswagen group but they wouldn't listen is playing out right now. The old guys' EVs are not compelling enough, their charging network is lacking and that is why we see everyone scrambling to get access to Tesla's charging network in the US as we continue to hear about bad EV experience for EV owners and their charging experience. This is of course hurting the EV transition but this is a non-issue when you just buy a Tesla. So people are not stupid, so they know what to buy. And that is why the old guys like Volkswagen and Ford and GM are now all crying in the corner that there is no e to e demand. Meanwhile, Tesla has the best selling car in the world. And oh yeah, they only make electric vehicles. And Tesla will still grow something like 40% this year. They will grow with about 500,000 units in 2023. This is way more than twice the amount that Ford and GM combined will sell in all of 2023. Just Tesla's growth. Audi, that was supposed to crush Tesla when they started coming out with EVs back in 2019, well, they will make less than 200,000 units this year. Mercedes probably around 200,000 and BMW maybe 350 and Volkswagen brand maybe above 400,000. So none of the German car brands will be able to sell as many EV total in 2023 as Tesla is just growing with. And Tesla is expanding their Berlin factory as we speak while the old guys are slowing down. All of this while their profitable ice business is collapsing and that will only accelerate over the next couple of years as EVs only get more and more affordable. Many automakers won't survive the coming transition to electric vehicles. Nothing has been more clear. They claim weak demand, but the fact is they are selling an inferior product compared to Tesla at a more expensive price customers are not going to fall for this. Volkswagen and the other brands do not have that loyal customers. They will not buy something that is completely inferior for a higher price. And we see this with Mercedes that is having problem with their EV sales. So not even the brand of Mercedes is strong enough to come out with an inferior product that is overpriced. And we see the inventory of the legacy automakers EVs are piling up and the ones they do sell, they lose money on, while Tesla sell all the EVs they make and with a profit. Like Sandy Monroe said, Tesla is playing chess while the others are playing checkers. The doubters and haters can phrase this any way they like, but the truth is, 
Tesla is dominating the electric vehicle space and accelerating their lead. And while Volkswagen is trying to cut costs and delaying all their EV plans and paying billions of dollars in interest rate of their hundreds of billions of dollars in debt that is increasing, while Tesla has virtually no debt and $26 billion in the bank. The future is electric and Tesla is leading us there. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>